appreciate all the love and support. Thank you, guys.
Hello you, welcome to Geekism. How are we folks? Uh, look at this game. This isn't Animal Crossing. This isn't Summer of Mara. This isn't anything else we've been live streaming lately. This is Animal... No, no what's it? This is... <laughs> this is Animal Game with animals in where we make all the animals is. How are we folks? I hope you're doing well. Happy Flurms Day. Now there's a good chance a lot of you haven't got a clue what Flurms Day is, right? Um, Because... For a little while, we've been playing Animal Crossing almost exclusively on the channel. I've been really into it. Um, but that's kind of settled down a bit now. It's got to a point where it's not... Personally, there's not that much going on every single day to play, right? So we're going to be playing Animal Crossing two, three, four times a week, okay? Maybe every other day, something like that. Um, and we're going to start interspersing other games into the mix for the live streams as well. And the first one I really wanted to come back to was Planet Zoo. I honestly um, am still struggling to really find that sort of creative... I was going to say jizz, that's an awful word. The creative juice, the fizz that's needed for Planet Zoo. Um, so I'm going to start with live streams at least, because at least then we can kind of ease into it a little bit. We can get some ideas from the chat. Okay. Um, but that's kind of the kind of the plan, is to kind of ease back into it, see if we can see if we can get the old juices flowing again with it, really. Because it, it has got a lot of good things going for it. I, I, the DLCs have disappointed me a little bit. I won't lie, the DLCs have disappointed me a little bit. But there's still a lot of fun game here, right? And there's still probably stuff we can do. So we're going to ease back in. No promises as to whether or not this is going to become a full-blown series or anything. But for now, at least... You know, let, let's 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 stop the burner. Let's mix it up, mix it up a little, okay. So for those of you who haven't been here for a while, you'll see some people's names uh, in orange there. They have a little geekism afterwards. We do have the ability to join the geekism membership now. It's uh, a few dollars a month, less than a coffee, and not only does it get you your little geekism stamp there, it gives you a whole range of emojis uh, to use as well. Some of them are Animal Crossing emojis, some of them are just general stream emojis, all different things in there you can have fun with. It shows your support for the channel. It helps me out keeps the bills paid on my end as well so if there's something you're interested in you can click the join button just below the video there on the on a regular screen whether or not it's on a phone i don't know some people say they can't see it on phone they have to go through to the site who knows uh, but other than that all the other ways of supporting are still there just being here and watching is the best way to support but uh you know you can also um you know uh click on the on the super chats or the donations there every single penny we take goes uh straight back into supporting the stream we're currently working on we're currently working on on getting some cash to make this look nicer so i'm currently using the green screen because now i have absolutely nothing behind me and it's incredibly boring and wouldn't that look so much nicer with some cool shelving and lights and all the awesome stuff like that people are sending me fan art. We've got some fan art coming in now. I got I bought this awesome stitches off one of our geekism uh members that they made. Look at that. Ooh, blah, 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 blah. There we go. Who sucks that was who made that right? Ugh. So anyway, at the moment we've just got a boring green screen, but we'd like to uh we'd like to make that. PZ is missing three PZ is missing three zigs. That is pros pro 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 problem. Um yeah. So anyway, this is the zoo that we started. It's Nameless Zoo, okay? And we got a few episodes into this one last time round. So I, I feel I like right now this is the great place to carry on from. Um, so the old the idea behind this zoo was the old versus the new, the old entrance and the old buildings that they can't really get rid of, um, but they can build some new stuff on top of it and, and try and make it still look nice, okay? So that's kind of what we've got for here. The old entrance here and some old buildings that they're not allowed to uh, demolish. Um, but they can they can build out some new space and stuff. Huh? There's no tree smacking in this game. Oh, there's no dig. There's no digging in this game. This is animal. This is Planet Zoo. Hi, D. Uh, hippo. Do you want to see a hippo? Huh? Oh, okay. We can maybe see a hippo. <laughs> Let's see about seeing a hippo. Huh? The that's some water that's right so let's see a hippo maybe is that going to be the planet zoo thing seeing a hippo let's build a little bit of fence out uh i've completely forgot how to play this game this is not staying by the way folks okay this is just uh oh. you hippo? you want to see a hippo well get your hippo okay He came over. He said, 
Yeah. What's that noise? What's that noise? It's mummy, your mother talking. <laughs> um. Uh, yes, you can. Yeah, hold on, kiddo. I've completely forgot how to even find an. Oh, here we go. <laughs> hippo, 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 part of us. What noise does a hippo make? <laughs> I don't know. What noise does a hippo make? I don't know. Okay, here we go. Oh. Oh my word. Nico. Nico? No. Daddy. Hello, Mika. Hello, be careful, please. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a hippo look. Oh. Ah! <gasps> a hippo. What's he like? Oh, wake up now. Oh, he's woke up now, look. Is that good? Get in that water. Are you wanting to get in some water? Mm -hmm. Hippos need water, don't they? Hippos need water. We can make some water quick. Um, genuinely forgotten how to play this game. Terrain. There we go. Uh, push the push down some terrain. And fill it up with some water. There we go. There we go. Oh, it went in the water a little bit. A little oh, bit. So it's good, isn't it? There and we more. go. Huh? And more. More what? More water. More water. That's in enough water, I think. Water. Well, you can't make him go in the water, unfortunately. <laughs> he goes, big, he goes in, in there when he wants to. Water. Okay, there he is. Money. All done? No. You are. No. Oh, thank you, Pitsy. I uh, finally got some money today, so I thought I should go to John's for the entertainment and community you provide every day. Uh, and it, the interior design there, I can't see what you do with the office. Thank you, Pitsy. I really do appreciate that. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, is this one going to have an underwater viewing area, or is that the next one? Every Everyone has to have an underwater viewing area because. Uh, that's the only way we can do it. Right, off you go to storage. See you, kiddo. Have a good nap. Okay, let's close all this off. There we go. We need to find something concrete that Xander can do <laughs> in Planet Zoo if we're going to stream it again. Because, for, again, for those of you who don't know, on Animal Crossing, he comes on and digs some things up for me. Uh, and on the summer at Mara, he came up and smacked some trees to get the wood. So we need to find something he can do to say that he's done. <laughs> Part of the Canadian um, citizen requirement, John T, is that you must uh, watch the advert House Hippo. That's the the old the advert about uh, not believing everything you see on TV. Why have you got to watch that? Um, with the little tiny hippos that run around the house. Why have you got to watch that to be a Canadian citizen? <laughs> uh, you can make him go in the water, fill the whole pen. Well, yes, I suppose we could drown the thing. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying this steamy London day. Um, in my London, it's... Oh, yeah, it's nearly 30. That's nice. Yeah, it's cool in here. We've got the AC on. <laughs> Hi, I'm French, and I love your video. Well, thank you. So, yeah, so we've got... Um, we've got the, the snow leopard in here, rocking about somewhere. Where are you? There you go, just chilling on a bit of dirt for no reason. Um, and then we've got uh, we've got some lemurs. No, red pandas here. This was a this was a zoo school episode. The red pandas, they're chilling out in there. There we go. Um, we've got uh, the lemurs, capuchin monkeys. And we've got uh, an aardvark. And we've got some okapis. So, um, so there we go. So I think we'll probably work on the okapis today because this was this was we did this in a live stream with Bo. Um, 
It's part of your Canadian heritage. Well, I, yeah, okay. I didn't really realize it was particularly Canadian. I know the advert, though. Yeah. Um, so we'll carry on this, I think, with the uh, the old copies. So what I wanted to do was have like a, a viewing area that they could come down and, and really sort of see on top of. So, so there we go. Noisy mode. They are very noisy, yeah. What are you going to do in this episode? So we're going to try... We're going to start building the... Uh, the viewing platform here, I guess, and see if I can remember how to how the hell we play this game, because I have no idea. So, uh, architecture walls, columns. All right, should we start off with a pretty standard geekism rotunda? Because that, I mean, they always go down pretty well. They're easy. <laughs> I can remember how to do them. Okay, so let's make that uh, there, where we can see what's going on. Okay. And then we'll drop it down one. Is that going to be long enough? I suppose it'll have to be. But what we can do actually uh, is in that round there. Right. Yeah, it's not quite long enough. But if we do something like that, and then come up with a a middle, right? Uh, it's a glass enclosure. Yeah, it won't stay all glass. No, it, that was literally just to throw it down. Uh, all glass. We we go for uh, we go for relative realism here. I mean, don't get me wrong. You know, if, if a zoo, a real zookeeper would look at this, they'd probably have a million reasons it was incorrect. But um, yeah, we try and go for relative realism, or at least so it looks realistic as opposed to it actually being realistic. Maybe. Okay, so we'll come to here. Um. And we'll swing this around. Okay, so that'll work nicely. We can rotate that well. I wanted to look Planet Zoom more than I did. I got it with some stream vouchers. I got Christmas. I don't think I played this in January. It never, it never, well, it's a weird one, really. I, I, I don't know what now, in looking at it in hindsight, whether or not um, it was just that I really burnt myself out on it, you know? Or if it was that I actually was a little disappointed in it. I just don't I don't think I'll ever really know that, right? Okay. Alright, so we're gonna go we're gonna go pretty standard with this. We've done this many times before, but it looks solid and it's just it's just gonna help me oops. It's just gonna help me get back into it. So uh, which is probably a good start. So we'll call it to like a nicer, lighter wood color, but not, not mega light because it goes a bit glazy. Uh, hey guys, been watching the Mega Aquarium Freshwater Frenzy series. Yes, that is, I've been really enjoying that game. I tell you what, now it, don't get me wrong, it isn't quite to the uh, to the scope of Planet Zoo, but it's a very fun little game. That one, Mega uh, Mega Aquarium. If you want to get your fish itch, that's where you're getting it. That is where you're getting it. Okay, let's keep those around as well. Oops. Yeah, okay. There we go. 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 Okay. Let's find you back in this game. Well, I'd be honest with you, if you've been if you've been watching the the uh, the planet zoo uh, the um, Animal Crossing video was I, I I did say we were like for all all this week actually I've been mentioning that we will come back to this one this week but that's cool I I get that you know those these things get missed a little bit but yeah that's, that's been the plan for a while now it's been to come back once the uh, the Animal Crossing stuff dies down we'll be back in Animal Crossing tomorrow because it's the uh, the bug catching event which I don't want to miss. Uh, and obviously we'll be back in at the start of um, July for the summer stuff. But yeah, I'm hopefully going to be able to, you know, up the Planet Zoo stuff again. Get some, uh, get some cool stuff going with this. There we go. I um, I not only got a bit burnt out by the game, I got a little bit burnt out with the community. I I. A couple of the community decided that they didn't really like me anymore. <laughs> that was kind of a bit of a bummer. Um, so I, so I kind of, you know, lost a bit of love for it in that regard as well. 
I think these need to come out a little bit, so I'm going to bring them out a little and then see if we can maybe rotate them rather than having to move each one individually out. Oops. This might not work because we're not necessarily on the exact same run, but I, I think it's going to be okay. What we can do is once we've once we put them all into place, we can lift them all up a little, and that's going to get rid of pretty much all the discrepancies. There we go. Okay, that looks nice. I don't like it. Well, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Why is the community is lovely? Well, all right. <laughs> that's that's agree to disagree. Um, I like the Nuna Kanata. Yeah, and maybe who knows? Maybe we'll get back to Nuna Kanata one day. Who who knows? Um. Right, we'll bring that up. I'm just going to have to go and make sure the AC is actually on because, jeez, it's getting warm in here. I will be right back. Back, sorry about that. It's oh no, wrong button. Hold on, there we go. Oh. Uh, John, so you in a new apartment or a house now? We're in a house now, MacGyver. We're in a house. Um, so yes, we we have moved um to the other side of London. We're now in uh, northeast London, and um. And yeah, it's awesome. So we've got a bit more room. I've gone to, uh, I've got my own uh, office now, which is incredible. So I've got some office space all of my own, which is really great. Um, means I can just get on with work a bit better and keep out of, you know, not being the wife's way. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, he used to love the bear, didn't he, in Nuna Kanata? Xander, that, that is. Two of these paintings. Stick right down there. Two of these paintings. Stick right down there. Delete both of those. And uh, they've kept the colour, which is great. So is it just undo the delete? Pop them around. Whoops. Are you in Canada or the UK? You sound British, but there's talk about living in Canada. I am I am British living in Canada, and to confuse matters even more, I live in London. But that's London, Ontario, not London, England. So yes, I am British, but we moved to Canada um, a year ago, a year and a half ago now, I suppose. Uh, in India, it's forty-three. Oh, that's warm. It's just it's just in the thirties here, so it's not too bad. It's not too bad. It doesn't really get unbearable until like thirty-five. But the problem is, in in this room, the uh, the PC cooks the place. I've had to put the AC on. Oh, that didn't sound good. There we go. Just heard a bang from Xander's room. Um. Was that plastics one? Sorry, I'm I'm missing stuff there.
Well, maybe John T. building something with a couple of hundred critics watching live. Ah, well, you've got to build... Well, what would the stream be otherwise <laughs> if we didn't build stuff? It's all good. I'm, I'm relatively confident in my ability. I know what I can do and what I can't do. That's all right by me. Um, oh, well, we've pulled... Uh, see, we do probably have to pull those out as well, don't we? Because otherwise that will look a little silly, I think. There we go. No joke, I was in Paris, Ontario, then Paris, France. Two consecutive weekends, <laughs> that's good. Which one was more romantic, MacGyver? Which one was uh, was the city of love? Paris, Ontario. We've got, like, pretty much in a row, you've got Paris, London, Dublin here in Ontario. They were, they were not adventurous when they named places here. <laughs> there we go. Okay, some of the comments I'd be thinking there was an announcement. Oh, no? No? I think we're, we're due one. Like, I think it's about time we started to hear about what's next, but then, you know, with the pandemic, I totally get if they're like, listen, like you know, we're we're having to slow down a bit, you know. So I kind of um, I can see it working either way, really. Is that the shortest one of those? Is there a one meter? Is that one meter? That's fine. There we go. We need something to connect these two. Although you're gonna never see it, we need something that goes in there. And do you know what? I think I think actually where that was is probably about right. Maybe a little lower. Yeah, I don't mind it sticking out the bottom. Who uh, were misses? Um, I don't mind sticking out the bottom. So here it's going to there. Okay. And then here we go. Remember, once you put something down, it doesn't have to be in the right in the perfect spot because we want to we want to line these up right. So we can bring them up to here. Put them to where they're going to be. Make sure it all lines up all sexy like. And then we can drop them back down. And then they're all the right space at the right time. There you go. And you'll never see them. But we know they're there. Uh, well, I was in a tent with my wife in Paris, Ontario. I was in a small hotel room with my wife in Paris, France. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe maybe you could try some more adventurous stuff in the larger hotel room, but otherwise there's no difference. <laughs> um, to be fair, Canada had very different names before colonization made stuff for Well, oh, yes, this is true, of course, yeah. Yeah, and I'm glad that uh, Canada has its fair share of... Um, of uh, of native names still as well which is good i think um it would be nice to have more of them because one i just think they're cooler and two obviously you know it's not nice that we just came in and decided we were going to change the name of everything um but yeah there's, there's there's quite a few around here the smaller towns have still got um uh sort of uh, first um first native names which is good Okay, so now we just need like a on the top there. So I don't know what we've got there. Awnings and fasteners. Should we have a look at the newest DLC? The newest DLC is months old now, but I never really, really looked properly other than laying it all out for the video and then moving on. I never really looked properly at the South America pack. So let's have a look. All this rope, I remember that being awesome. Is there like a statue-y... See, there's this thing. Let's have a look at that. Well, that's that's going to set on fire isn't it yeah okay is it we don't have triggers in this game i've been playing planet coaster a lot but oh there'll be a planet coaster suit video soon as well um because i've been playing that a lot this last week or so let's have a look a lot of wall things so here we go then this wall piece i find nice to look at so how about we see if we can use the same technique we've just used on that lid, roof, building lid, and do something like this. Now I don't know whether or not this is going to, oh, it kind of does. Okay, so if we can just line them up a little nicer. It doesn't line up perfect, but I think once there's enough of them, you won't really notice. There we go. Oh, 
Oh, that's cool, isn't it? No offense, but Johnson completely butchered the names of Indian cities during the Snow Leopard and Red Pandas people. Oh, God, yeah. What was I recording today? Oh, Cartel Tycoon. There's a video coming out this week. And the and the Spanish in that, I absolutely butcher. <laughs> um, what's this? Not seen this game before. This is Planet Zoo. So you, it's about building and managing a, a zoo. It's very fun. Lots of creative options. Uh, oh, gosh, a lot of PC gamers will play playing co games soon i see myself debating if i need all this is yeah so it was bec i tell you what really got me going really got my juices flowing um i'm in a i'm oh that's a lot bigger than i thought it was i was thinking that would just sit really nice on top of there but that is like mega <laughs> nope it does look really nice but it's way too big like that would be okay if that doesn't offend the i mean it does offend the base a little bit doesn't it hmm I don't know. If we could do something like that, but with a smaller piece, maybe. Yeah. Let me see. Size-wise, that's... That could maybe work. Um, let me compare it to that one. So it isn't that much smaller, really, is it? I suppose it is a little. That one. Ugh. Uh, okay. The, the planet game scale strikes again. So, yeah, nothing particularly jumping out from the South African pack, to be honest. South America pack, even. Maybe, just, maybe we keep it simple. Let's keep it simple with something ooh, like this. There we go. And maybe just we need to find something that will just spike on top of that. But that could be quite nice. And then we've always got that uh, fancier top idea for something else a little larger, right? Yes, that looks good. Oh. <laughs> that looks good, he says, as he deletes it. Let's try this one as well. I'm convinced this Welsh is a troll. Did we get some Welsh? Yeah, I can't do Welsh at all. Clan, clan fair? It's the PWs I'm never sure about. I know the double L is like a sound, so it's clan, clan fair. Is it PW is a F? Is it? Clan, clan fair? Feel... No, sorry. That's, yeah, don't do Welsh. It's like Scrabble where the, and all the vowels have gone missing. Is it you want to know us? Where's that? Where's that? Yeah, one of them. And one of them. There we go. Now you're talking. Oh. Uh. Yes. As a Welsh person who can barely speak Welsh, I agree, that's extremely trolley. <laughs> Shut up and take my money. Thank you, Walker. Thanks for the super chat. Yeah. I don't know what that means, but thank you. Uh, support you for trying your best, thanks. <laughs> Hi, hearty boy. Yeah, dude, good, thank you. Okay, so there's the basic structure, all right? Oh, the basic roof structure, I suppose. Uh, how much do you slow your Planet Coaster games down in the videos? I can watch the videos, but playing the game makes me motion stick. Uh, I don't, I don't slow, I don't understand that. Sorry, I don't slow them down. Uh, yeah, da -da. Shut up and take my money. Walker, help! Thank you, Walker, for the huge super chat. Um. Thank you very much. That a, a large super chat from a name I don't know with the name with the category with the caption help. I just want to make sure this is okay, Walker. So are, are you all right, buddy? Are you are you do you need help or are you maybe is you are you maybe a kid and your parents need to be around? I would hate to think that 
you've pressed a button by accident there. So if you, if you are fine with that being the super chat, then thank you. I really appreciate it. But but I, people in the chat, you can understand that that's a little bit of a flag for me there, right? <laughs> um, but thank, I appreciate it. If it's genuine, thank you. Uh, congrats, Fitzy. What did I miss? Oh, nice job interview. Awesome, Fitzy. Best of luck with it. Um, but yeah, thank. If it's if it's genuine, I appreciate. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. But just the, it's my birthday today. Oh, happy birthday, hearty boy! I'm helping you. Oh well, in that case, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, uh, Walker. Just out of context, the word "help" <laughs> is a little bit of a worry, but I massively appreciate it. Thank you. It's going to really come in handy. I do appreciate that a lot. Thanks a lot. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so, not just yesterday, I found a deer on AC, and today my dad hit one. Oh, Jesus, Lisa. <laughs> hit one with the car while I was in it. Absolutely horrifying. Cumulus here is the poor thing. It's completely unavoidable. It happens, right? They just dive in front of cars, man. They're mad beasts. But, yeah, sorry to hear that. Who are you chatting to? I'm chatting to you. Oh, hi. Everyone say hi to Shell. You've got a few hundred people on the internet saying hi to you. <laughs> um, Go and go there. Try pronouncing my name. Uh, Soham Chakrabarti. Soham Chakrabarti? I don't know about the Soham bit. Could that be like Soham? Or like, or even like a Shivani type name? I don't know. Um, but Chakrabarti. I can't think of another way of pronouncing Chakrabarti. Okay, walls, columns, bats, walls, and columns. I want uh, the Planko thin round beam. That one. There we go. And um, because we need to, we need to support this a little. All right, this is not going to be so. How many one 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 two clicks? I think looks right. So we need to know the clicks because we're going to have to do this on the opposite side as well. You see, uh, Walker, thanks again for the super chat. I'm helping you. I appreciate you, buddy. Thank you very much. Honestly, that's uh, it's incredibly generous. And, and please don't put yourself out though. I, uh, I I I would say that's more than enough super chats from you, my friend. But I very much appreciate it. Thanks very much. Uh, okay, so come back up here. Okay, one, two clicks onto this one. I know, I, do, I know I'm looking up and it's doing nothing. It's just because the light is uh, slightly on the screen. There we go. Uh, do, 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 do. That's a many Caesar pass you've just given away. <laughs> well, he may not be in England, to be fair. Um, what's the plan for the office remodel? It's mostly going to be furniture. Obviously, we can't really do that much to the space because it's a rented property. Um, but uh, but yeah, that's the uh, mostly going to be furniture. We're looking at building some storage behind so we can start showing off some of the awesome uh, like fan gifts we get. And also, I've been uh, I've been three D printing uh, quite a bit. Um, so I want to show you my. Uh, like I want to sort of show off some of those as well, some of the new 3D printing bits that I've done. Okay, let's line this up as best we can. Uh, so again, easiest way to do this is probably to come down to here and find that and find that middle spot that way. So sort of, it's always going to be an eyeball. This one, you're never going to get a spot on, I don't think. And obviously, we can vary the height as we need to once this gets up there. Just watch a new video. It's so fun making new homes for the fish. Oh, Sarah, the next one's great. We do um, we do turtles in the next one. <laughs> we should match the fence to the roof. Yes, yes, we will. We'll do it. We'll do a similar fence slash roof design. Um, Scottish Highlands, I really enjoy your most famous export. Thank you, Walker, with a number one fan. I really appreciate it, friends. Um. But you can you can hold on there if you want, buddy. Honestly, that's that's a, that's a lot of cash to dish out to one guy for 
streaming planet zoo i, I do appreciate it and I'm, and I'm i'm sure you're good for it but uh yeah do, do me a favor and, and 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 spread the love go and you know give it to a few other people as well and for anyone who's concerned about this maybe you know perhaps being somebody who hasn't really got it uh all the all youtube super chats sit in a little pot uh while they're cleared and stuff so it, it, it can you know it can go back if it needs to but i really appreciate it walker thank you uh dinner time gonna hell off cheers fitzy thanks for stopping by um, yeah, it's a little bit different to YouTube than PayPal because YouTube it, it sits in YouTube's account until the end of the month when I when and it comes along with the ad revenue. So yeah, it works a little differently. So I know what you're thinking. Do we take these in to match the fence? Is that what somebody meant by they should match the fence? Do we do that? Because we're going to do stuff to the fence anyway, but that would that probably makes sense, doesn't it? Right. Yeah, I think it does, doesn't it? And we'll do them by hand. My iPad. Awesome, buddy. I have a feeling you might be. How old are you, Walker, if you don't mind me asking? Take my money. Um, JJ Hamilton, a uh, one dollar train. I'm down for that, buddy. That's much more uh, <laughs> my sort of thing. Um, yeah, Walker, how old are you, pal? What animals going in the cage? This isn't a cage. This is a viewing area. Humans are going in this cage. Hmm. Um. Oh, oh, carpies are, are, are where we're looking, and what we're looking at. There we go. I'm nine. Yep, there you go. All right, Walker, buddy. You need to uh, don't click the super chat button again, okay, friend? And uh, and I'll um, I'll, I don't think I can actually refund them, but I'm pretty sure I can get in touch with YouTube. <laughs> I appreciate the help, buddy, but that's um, that's probably going to be mommy and daddy's money, and and they ain't going to want you to give it to to me <laughs> or anyone on the internet for that matter okay it's not just pretend unfortunately those buttons they are they're real cash so uh i'm gonna make a note when i feel well i won't forget but i'm gonna make a note so when i finish the stream to contact my youtube rep and see what i can do about those all right <laughs> Uh, blocking doesn't help, unfortunately. It doesn't actually stop the super chats coming through. Because we've had that before. We haven't had it actually be a kid like that, but yeah. We've had similar similar issues. Okay. But don't worry. Just don't press that button again for us, mate. And then uh, my money has my own bank account. Okay, pal. I, well, I appreciate it, but honestly, I, I, don't, I don't want you to do any more for me, okay, buddy? I, I really do appreciate it, but honestly, I'd rather uh, I'd rather everyone get some, alright? So, yeah, make sure you you keep some. Don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll check that out later. Don't worry. Let's go to a uh, four meter round and then put one on the opposite side. There we go. Oh, are we froze? No, we're okay. I'll delete those. Oh. Uh, hi, sorry I'm late. What did I miss? Oh, not much. Yeah, just a just a kid rinsing his parents' credit card. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but um, 
yeah don't, don't worry I, i've made a note and i'm gonna i'm gonna get that sorted and yeah luckily it's come through super chat which like i say sits in a sits in a holding account for a little while anyway so Turn these into the painted ones so we can do what we need to do. Oh, no. Oops, hold on. Get rid of that one. Undo, delete. There we go. Okay. Play a bit more summary Mario. How are you getting on with it, Joe? Uh, do me a do me a favor, folks. Let's 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 move on from the the super chat stuff, okay? Don't worry, I'm I'm gonna deal with it. But the best thing we can do probably is just to not bring attention to it for now, okay? So it doesn't continue, and then we'll and then I'll, I'm going to address it, okay? Um. So yeah, that, that let's let's leave, let's leave it there for now. I, I appreciate you you all there. Uh, chatting but yeah that's it uh, that's how we're gonna deal with it all right good stuff thanks folks <laughs> a second for a second then uh thank you hearty boy welcome to the geekism membership let's get some hello you chats uh sorry let's get some hello yous in the chats there for hearty boy enjoy your emojis there my friend i appreciate the support Okay. Oh, that's just about right. I mean, that is for me. That's one of those good enough. Sorry, right? I'm calling that a good enough. There we go. Sounds good. What are we building today? We are building a viewing area for what will eventually become an Okapi stage. <laughs> just got the uh, the map and diving for the necklace. Oh, nice. You about where I got to then? Um. <laughs> Uh, what's the plan for today? Well, like I say, we're building this sort of uh, Okapi place. Um, we're building this area, and hopefully, it's going to look good. I'm going to select some of the oops. I'll give you some of these. And we're going to raise them a little. Again, little things like this, you know, folks, just kind of. Just changing heights of these. Now, obviously, depending on the style you're building, it might not work. But just changing the heights of them can really sort of make a thing pop. Uh, are you going to upload? Places? Yeah, plan is plan is to return to uploads as well. Yeah, um, but I want to I want to kind of ease back into it with with streams. The um, here's the best way to put this. The uh, the expectations of what you get done is less in a stream <laughs> if that makes sense so yeah i'm uh, i'm all for i'm all for lower expectations Okay, this is this is looking all right. Now obviously we need to clear out some of this. Uh those, yeah, okay. There we go. Building in the code game space for Yeah, it does, but you know it's you gotta enjoy the uh Enjoy the the, the, the the I've been absolutely lost for words. Enjoy the process and not necessarily worry too much about the the end goal. Uh, okay, so obviously we need to clean up the bottom of it, but I think from the top that is looking pretty good now. Um, what we could do is actually take away the fence on this path here just to really help clean up the place. Uh, what floor are we using there? Yes. 
So if we just turn the railing on elevated and click those, that's going to remove. Yep, yeah, there. Has that done it? Yeah, that removes the, that railing, so there's no no overshoot there. Okay, good. Is the shuttle going to look like the platform? I think that would be a sensible idea. Yeah. I think that's a sensible idea. Let's try and carry it through. Uh, I think there's end bits by the post of the entrance. Don't bisect the ring like the rest. These two, yeah. No, they don't, do they? Which is kind of weird, because the rest do. And it was built circularly. Li -li 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 -li. But yeah, those two specifically are a bit further out. But I'm okay with it. It is a little weird, though. I don't quite understand why. When I built the whole thing as a, as a circle, all we do is fill them in here. And it looks like we're meant to do it. One of my biggest design rules, any game I play where you can be designing or anything else I'm designing, rule number one, if you can't hide it, draw attention to it, make it look like you're meant to do it. There we go. So now it's got a nice little slide in. Okay. There we go. Okay. Happy with that as a start. It's a bit yellowy maybe, but I can get behind it. I can get behind it. Now, next thing we need to do is then base this bottom in, base the bottom in some concrete. Uh, can we recolor? Hi, Megan. Welcome to the Geekism membership. Incredible. Thank you so much for the support. Welcome. Let's get some hello yous in the chat. We can't color the concrete, can we? Can we color any of these? Uh, painted brick. Now, that would look, that'll look a mess once it's all done. Uh, wood beam. No. I thought there was like a plaster. Is there only a circular one? Thank you, Megan. I appreciate the support. Uh, enjoy your emojis. Um, when you move the rest in a bit, you didn't move those. Bang, Liz, figuring it out. Absolute Sherlock ability level stuff there. Uh, interesting structure. What animal will go in the habitat? Just started watching the stream. Hi, prehistoric vids. Uh, it's uh, Okapis. They're already there, but literally we've got the space laid out at the moment and that's it um and this is going to be the the viewing area for them or one of the viewing area for them uh, i haven't watched you in ages good to be back hey jj o'neill it's nice to see some names come back i mean i mean don't get me wrong where you've been like you know but i get it you know a lot of people aren't into, uh, interested in animal crossing uh but we have been in a big way in a big big way yeah i could have sworn there was a there was like a a plaster pillar a square plaster pillar, that sort of size. Well, well. So if I put you down and then add one from you, right, that there, you're going to be joined up now, which is good. So if I bring you round to here, yes. Okay. Have you been to Chester Zoo before? I have. Fantastic zoo. I had a great day at Chester Zoo. Oh, it's Chester Zoo a few times actually. In fact, last um, last year when I was back home in the UK for a little while, we went to Chester Zoo with um, with Xander's grandma, and we had a nice day. Although the weather was a little ropey. Um, but yeah, I love Chester Zoo. One of the best zoos in the country, easily. And I'm very glad that they managed to get. Um, uh, a lot of their funding sorted eventually, even though it took a while. I think I think we've just got to get like theatres sorted now in the UK. That's the thing we're really struggling. You know, I first found Geekism because I was trying to become a better builder in Plant Coaster, but after watching him, uh, how good Jonty was, I said, forget it, I'll download pre-made stuff. Oh no, that was not my intention at all. <laughs> like, the whole point of making these videos is to show people how easy it is to do stuff. <laughs> It's just all I'm doing is very little things. You've just you've got to be methodic with it, right? You've got to be methodic. That's all it is. Is this sandbox? Yeah, I, I pretty much 
I have done a franchise zoo, but I pretty much exclusively pay in sandbox. See, again, there, there's a really great point, by the way. If, if you can't hide something, right, these, these are too wide to have a perfect circle. So at some point, you're going to get this little bit of crossover. So I can't hide that. So all I'm doing is bringing out all of those, right, into a into a slight... And it just, it looks like it's part of it now. It looks like it's part of a supporting structure. Yeah? That's all you have to do. If you can't hide something, just make a thing out of it. And people won't even, people will think you're meant to do it. Honestly. Fake it till you make it, kids. Fake it till you make it. It's good to be back in Planet Zero, actually. I'm quite enjoying myself. Select that like there just a touch. Probably to the fence height makes sense, I suppose. And also, I like the fact that this plain concrete looks a little bit barren and nasty, you know? Because that's the other thing we were trying to go for with this build is that, like, they've got a bit of a budget and they're trying their hardest to make stuff look cool, but it ain't. It ain't, you know, they haven't got the highest budget ever. We do more Planet Coaster. Hi, Jack. Yeah, I've been, I've been working in Planet Coaster all week, actually. There should be a video out this week of what I've done. I don't think I've ever improved my building, but you gave me inspiration. Uh, even though my buildings still look a bit rubbish, at least they're more interesting. Well, that's great, and it's just little bits, and I'm sure it'll get better. It's only a practice thing. you got to remember, especially for people who are, who came to the this series... Uh, from Planet Zoo, like I've got an, over a thousand hours in Planet Coaster, and it's basically the same thing, you know, as far as this kind of building goes. You could build this in Planet Coaster identically, apart from the pieces being a little different, you know. So here, I'm just thinking about how these bits are going to go. Okay, so one thing we will have to do actually is. Like there, there maybe. We need to clean up this bit here, unfortunately. So, I'll take those down and that up. Obviously, we don't want them clipping through here. But we need them clean around the bottom there. Okay, so. Okay, so we're we're not we're not on point here, are we? So let's get all of these. Aren't oak is the closest living room to giraffes? Yes, apparently they are close to giraffes, and you can tell the tongue is very purpley. The crazy thing about oak is that they were relatively recent discovery as far as animal discoveries go. They were found in the 1900s, which is pretty insane, really. For years and years, they were considered by locals to be like spirits of the woods because they're so elusive, people would just never get a look at them. Okay, so that doesn't quite line up. But I reckon we go there and there again. Perfect opportunity. We can't, we can't cover that up there, so all we do is add something like this in. And it instantly looks like a support that's meant to be there. And you, and you wouldn't even look twice at it. You'd be like, oh yeah, because it's holding the it's holding the fence up, right? Holding the wall up. Is the sound a bit low? I sound a bit low on uh, all my live streams, unfortunately. I, I, I talk low because I'm in the next room to my son who's having a nap time. Um, and also, I'm just I'm not one for being loud. Sorry, you just have to turn your sound up a little bit, Wester. Um, even bought a shirt. You did, Andrew. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yes, there is there is Pinewood Hills coming. See the community bill. Some are really made. Some are incredible. Some people do is incredible. Uh, one of the reasons why I haven't played Planet Zoo in a while is because it makes me want to go outside, explore nature, maybe even go to a zoo in person, but I can't do that. I know. Well, you can, I mean, if you're careful. I mean, I don't know what your situation is, Simsy. You have to remind me, but... Like, we're planning to go to the beach at the weekend because there's beaches near us that are very quiet um, and we can social distance very well. All right. I, I would I would say that's done. 
I would say that is a good little viewing area. Cool. I'm a paleontologist and I just wanted to share, there used to be, a long time ago, camels in North America that were ecologically similar to giraffes. They were tall and long necked and super cool. That's crazy. The uh, Sawala? Koala was discovered in, oh, the Sawala, no, was discovered in 2012 and it kind of looks like an ogre feet the size of an antelope. That's crazy, eh? New animals in 2012. I mean, I know there's like millions of like bugs and insects and probably birds that we've never categorized but the fact that there's like a mammal running around that we didn't know about that's pretty insane i think um horse mashed together and a zebra is a giraffe like show yeah they're pretty crazy aren't they they are pretty pretty funny looking things but they're they're yeah they're both they're both favorite animals so we built them for well, on a live stream with bo uh who's actually leaving the um we'll call one of them bo cappy here's that um uh yeah but Bo's actually moving on from frontier she announced on twitter the other day she's moving to uh, she hasn't said where but she's moving to a new company um so it's just like exciting stuff for her just been listening to you in the shower a very strange experience where, where did you get footage of me in the shower from um wait is your girlfriend a lady designer uh no the lady designer hates me and i'm ha very happily married no, the lady designer is not my girlfriend. The lady designer is not a fan of jaunty or geekism. <laughs> uh, is this a regards to it's still going to be a thing? I don't think so. I don't think me or Band or Mass Bandit ever invested enough in these games to, to start a whole new big series like that. Uh, we've been playing the Alpha and Early Access to Pre-Economic Kingdom. Uh, we've actually played Pre-Economic Kingdom a couple of times on the channel, and yes, I, I've definitely got plans to return to it later, yeah. Need food and water. Oh, they haven't got anything yet. Don't worry, we're not even, you know, we're not even close to doing food or water yet. The game's paused. Don't worry about that. In fact, they've got food? Or are they just, oh, I thought maybe that's where the, the staff had thrown food down, but yeah. Uh, so she was leaving. Can't wait to see what her next adventure is. Yeah, it'd be exciting to see where she ends up. Her boss, her old boss, Ed, uh, ended up working for uh, Bethesda. So that's quite a big move. Um, you don't remember sending it to me? I don't. No, sorry. I can't remember now. Somebody, I remember somebody sneaking in and stealing my tapes because I taped myself in the shower. Because <laughs> that's a normal thing to do. <laughs> um, uh, I live near NYC and don't own a car. Mm, yeah, so yeah, not best, is it? Yeah. Probably stay in there. Brand new zoo. Or if I miss a start, we this is um like we've done. This is the like the last thing we were playing. We're just kind of back in here for a bit. So it's kind of fun. Um, hey John, do you like Ricky Gervais? I do. Yeah, I'm. I'm a. I'm a bigger fan of him when he works with others. I find his stuff where he writes by himself a little pretentious. Um, I think he benefits from having another comedic writer to drag him down a little. Um, but yes, for the most part, I'm a fan of Ricky Gervais, yeah. I just walked quite a I wasn't sneaky. <laughs> yeah. If you tape others in the show, hold on, hold on. Who's saying I tape others? <laughs> it's just me. I just tape myself in the shower just so I can just so I can watch it back and improve. God, this one, this one ended up weird, didn't it? So okay, that's done. Let's have a think about uh, Okapis. Um, I'm gonna have a little Google and see if there's any cool Okapi zoo things. Uh, you should be able to see this. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so this is the big problem, right? Is that people just take photos of the animals zoomed in, usually with the like the background blurred out. It's very difficult to actually see what an Okapi 
uh, habitat can look like. I know they need a lot of trees. Oh, here, here's a little video of one. Uh, here's a little video of one coming out at San Diego Zoo. I'm going to mute that because there's no way that's going to be uh, copyright free for me to use. Journal Candy, welcome to the Geekism membership. How's it going? Thank you so much for the support. Let's have some hello using the chat for Journal Candy. Enjoy your emojis, Journal Candy. It's a cool name. I always think whenever I see you type something, Journal Candy, I always think uh, uh, I always think that's a good name. Um, I think Gervais is better with Stephen Merger. With yeah, Stephen, or anyone, really. I just think he's better with a writing partner. I, bet, I think he does well from somebody kind of just, just pulling him down a little bit out of the rafters. Um... No, look, the cute little thing. So basically, I mean, really, that's just like we've put some trees in. But they like a lot of trees. I know this. I know this. Let's have a look. Copy zoo enclosure. Because we've got, there's all like zoo pages and stuff, right? <laughs> First one's the ladies look. That's, that's pretty impressive. I had a Planet Zoo video before any of the real life zoo stuff. <laughs> I've got a girlfriend. Yeah, somebody just asked me if I've got a girlfriend. Oh, your ears pricked up, didn't they? <laughs> I said, no, unfortunately, I've got a wife. Can I have some pop? No, ask your girlfriend. <laughs> please, please, my love. Um, it was a Johnny regenerating name, actually. But really? Yeah, that sounds cool. Thank you. So they've got kind of like what we've done though. We've got we've gone for a shelter a little bit higher up, but they've got like a walking thing there that's in the middle of the of the shelter. That's pretty sweet. Thank you. And again, mostly just like an area with trees in it. Um yeah, see, that's the thing. Real zoo, that's the problem, you know. It's same with Planet Coaster as well. We we talk about um, we talk about having like uh, uh, realistic builds, but even in Planet zoo Coaster, they're not. It's not realistic. It's a heightened version of reality that looks nice. If you actually built realistic zoo builds, that you would just be building square boxes of green <laughs> with a couple of trees in it. Um, look, that's too funny. Sure, don't don't give don't encourage her. She's, they're all saying you're funny. Mm -hmm. People say they miss your comments in the background. Oh. They don't get now because I've put her computer right over the other side of the house. <laughs> yeah, who were you filming me for before? Huh? Who were you filming me for? Yeah, I'm just the house. Oh, okay. Congo rainforest. Oh right, yeah, we can have a look at the actual rainforest as well. But again, surely that's just mostly just trees, right? Uh, MRB, we making this go. I don't know, MRB. Please stop asking about what I'm gonna do and what I'm not gonna do. I, I don't know. Uh, wait, Paradeza is not a square. What's that? I've never heard of it. I'm gonna Google it. Paradeza. Is this a cool zoo? Wow, look at that. Best zoo in the world. Look, I mean, that looks like that looks like a hyper-realistic Planet Zoo shot, doesn't it? Look at that place. That's crazy. Wow. I mean, obviously, there's going to be like offshoots like this, but for the most part, <laughs> zoos are... There's a big green square. Look, <laughs> they've just put some nice stuff next to it. <laughs> That's really cool, though. I like that. Um, complex apartment condos and motorways in the Amazon. Yeah. <laughs> So, so Congo, where, where are we looking for them? Congo, what was it called? Rainforest. Let's have a look at the Congo rainforest looks like. Oh yeah, loads of trees. I mean, a river. We could give them a river. Could we give them a river? Yeah, we could give them a river. I mean, a rainforest. It's literally loads of trees, right? <laughs> yeah. 
Yes, I will, I'll put him, uh, I'll pop an ear out. How's that? Yeah, Germany has some incredible zoos. Yeah, Germany's really smashing it with zoos. Germany's just smashing it in general, mate. You, you, like, Germany's one of the best countries in the world. If it wasn't for all you Germans in it, <laughs> I totally don't want to live there. <laughs> now, when, um, when we were initially writing up a list of countries to move to, or countries we would, we would like to move to, I, Germany, I had Germany on my list, but Nicola was very adamant about it being a country where English was the first language. So, um, so yeah, country, uh, Germany got a veto, but I, I love Germany. I've had some fantastic vacations in Germany and I've never felt anything other than welcomed and impressed. Um, all right, so yeah, trees. Let's do a river. Meandering river. Let's do a meandering river. I mean, we can make the place a little bit bigger if we need to, but how about, because this would be quite cool because we'll have to get rid of the river somewhere, right? Um... Back now, what have I missed? Hi, Felix. Not much. We um, we built this. Cincinnati Zoo is a good zoo to look at. Yes, yeah, so I'm hoping to get there because we have relatives just south of Cincinnati. So I'm hoping to get down there and visit the zoo. Um, yeah. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Yeah, for rivers. Okay, just like a nice shallow meandering river, like almost like a little mini Amazon. And then we can do like some concrete with a grate at the bottom for it to go into, you know? You should be, I feel honored even though I have nothing um, to do with St. Germany. Well, you're a German, so, you know, you are part of it. Um, don't get me wrong, I'm not, I'm not really a believer in... Uh, in uh, nationalism or, or patriotism, uh, you, you know, the the bit of rock <laughs> you're you, you're born out of, born onto. Sorry, is complete chance, isn't it? But yeah, you can be proud of your country if your country's doing a good job. Okay, I have to drive to Cincinnati in a couple of days. I wish I could stop at the zoo instead. Oh yeah, right. I bet a stream. Well, like uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, it'll be a stream. But what I'm thinking is if we can do, let's think, if we do, ah, I'll tell you what would make most sense, actually. If we do this around here, so as that the, um, so as that the water kind of keeps this area, like, even further away from them, because they're not happy things, are they, with their, with people. They, they do not like, and then we'll bring it, we'll bring it under here, and we can, we can do some great here, and it can run around into whatever the next animal is, right? Um, so if we bring that around here, now we are going to have to get away for it for them to get across it. Now whether we do that naturally or or put, put like a bridge in it, like there's no rock. No, I've seen a few places have like bridges. Okay. I wish I had a wife to bring me. Uh, snacks and drinks, just drinks. We're not we're not snacking currently. No, this isn't the the color we're using, by the way. I just want to um, get rid of the grass so I can I can see this better. So, I mean, actually, they'll probably walk through that, won't they? About right, continuing the stream. Well, the problem with continuing it under the path is it, we it kind of runs into here. Now, what we could do is put some grates here as if it's come through like a filter or something and coming down to in, in, and ending up here. I don't know about that really. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know about that. But yeah, so that the, the, the plan is... Um... Oh, I didn't realize I left that as a natural base. It's an interesting choice. This is nice and relaxing. Good, it should be. That's the whole point. Oh, excuse me. We'll go a little deeper. A little deeper, and I'll be interested to know whether they can get across it. There we go. We'll, we'll save the height over there. Okay. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't meander. It doesn't meander as much as I'd like. Let's take it. In a bit. 
So now we've got a. Now we've got a bit more of a meander, right? Then we can bring that in that way a little. So we're thinning it up a little, but in doing so, we're really getting that sort of meandering idea. Oh, we lost it a little there. there we go. And then we'll, and then once this is all done, we'll smooth it all out, right? Uh, I think it's still kind of, they can swim across. Yeah, exactly. But I mean, there will have to be a, a spot for them to get across, I think, because like staff will need to get across, for instance. There we go. That's a nice little meandering Amazon, right? All right so let's just smooth this and just see if that's enough. Kind of hoping I get away with just being able to smooth this, to be honest. And it, so, like, I want it to look like it's going to be natural. I'm not putting concrete all around this, but I kind of want it to look sort of man-made, you know? Like it's, like it's obviously being dug out by a guy, you know? They may not have enough ground space. This is this is very true, actually. In fact, this is something we can have a look at, right? The other thing is as well is their welfare's turned off, so I don't really care that much. But no, they're so far they've they've still got enough. Unless hold on, it'll have to readjust on it. Okay, now they haven't got enough space. But I'm not too worried about that. I've personally got animal welfare off because it, like things like this one here, this snow leopard, this isn't anywhere near big enough for the snow leopard. But as far as I'm concerned, it is. Like, the snow leopard habitats I've seen in real life are half the size of this. So we purposefully kind of have uh, that across. We could do a natural... Yeah, we can do a... Staff can swim? Staff can't swim. Staff <laughs> really weirded me out. Staff can't swim? No, staff can't swim. No, no, no. Okay, construction. So, we'll get some con uh, concrete. Is it concrete or is it plaster? Just forget what the material they claim it to be. Yeah, plaster it is. Okay, so what we can do is we'll use that because we know that's going to be nice and flat. Quick check that we're at a decent height there, which we are. Okay. Well, maybe, uh, should we? Do we want to go as low as low as we can there, or is it probably an idea to bring it up a little? It's probably an idea to bring it up a little, isn't it? Okay. Love me some crappy concrete because I really do think it makes makes these builds that little extra realistic. Because crappy concrete is everywhere in these things. They can occasionally Jesus glitch. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Just jaunty buffering. Some sometimes it's sometimes I have to have a good laugh think about stuff, yeah. Like when we found Fawn yesterday. Uh, Fauna yesterday, I was like for like a good thirty seconds. <laughs> Is he taking the staff could swim? It would be cool if they made that animation for the staff in Panzer. I don't know. Personally, I wouldn't like that but as a as a fan of more realistic gameplay. I like staff ain't swimming around places in in zoos, you know. <laughs> uh, Just swing that around. Oh, nice. All right. Okay. So if we have something like that, 
and on that side and then fill that gap there with it and do the same on this side okay right so that yeah that dirt needs to we need to move away from here a little we've got plenty of space so we can go to like there let's have a look we want it so the water is almost you can't see anything else right there we go uh what's the weather like where you are john t in england uh, it's been so hot all day and there's a lightning storm and a rainbow oh awesome uh, it's nice and sunny here it's currently 30 degrees um yeah it's nice we'll be we'll be in the pool as soon as the stream finishes today uh with fight coast two that you part twisted the other day just a joke no no it should be a video out this week hopefully uh pretty much finished pretty much finished building i just need to like do the actual video now and actually do the uh the voiceover and all that sort of stuff. Okay. So from here, we'll take a copy of you down to there. Turn you in. Even though this is, I mean, really, this sort of stuff doesn't get seen much. But uh, we know it's there, don't we? There we go. Okay. And then we'll get some black art shapes. Flat ones, in fact. Oh, we might just get away with the one here. I don't know. Let's have a look. Yeah, it should do. That's neat. Uh, right there. Down. And not make it bright blue. Okay, and then finally we need a we need like a metal pole or something. John, did you uh, did you do all your own editing? How long on average does it take for you to edit the uploaded videos? Uh, I do it. I do it all myself. Yeah, I I wish I could afford somebody to do it for me, but I can't. Uh, it depends on the video. Um, who was it you asked me, sorry? Adrian. Um, depends on the video. So for like a regular let's play, like a mega aquarium that we're doing at the minute, for instance, there's very little editing there because I just have to line up the audio, uh, my audio and the video. So when I start the video, I clap my hands and then I can line up the clap on the audio to the, the hands touching on the video, which is one of the bonuses of having a base cam there. Um, and then... Um, and then, uh, and then pretty much just like occasionally there might be one or two cuts, but for the most part it's just trimming the beginning, trimming the end, putting the geekism at the beginning, and then putting the end credits at the end. And normally it's like a five ten minute job. Something with like uh, like for instance the Animal Crossing uh, fish and bug guides, they take a night. You know they they take a, a good sort of three four four hours to edit because there's lots more clips to put together and videos to and pictures to splice in. Um, I'm currently working on a, a new channel where I'm going to vlog my 3D printing experience, and the vlogs are really highly edited. And I'm and I've spent the last three weeks doing the first one of those. So it really depends on the video, to be honest. Uh, okay, blueprints. No construction still. Sorry, architecture. Uh, new world fence post. Thank you, Simpsons Man. I think that's the one I was thinking of. This thing, right? New world fence post. Oh no, that one. Yes, there we go. There we go, that's what we're looking for. So what we can do is bring that up there, put it in. I think annoyingly it's not long enough, so we'll have to loop this around. But that's okay. So also what software do you use? So for just regular video editing, that's done in Premiere Pro. Um, anything like motion graphics or anything, so the, the, the geekism being written at the beginning, that's done in um, After Effects. 
Um, I use Photoshop a lot for thumbnails, um, for like images like this that's behind me here, the, the donation thing up in the corner there. Um, hey John's here. Hey Chloe. Yeah, yeah. We're just gonna start splicing it in again. Now, now the um, now the Animal Crossing stuff has died down a bit. There's not so much stuff to do every day in Animal Crossing. I think I think it's about time we started coming back to some of the popular games on the channel. And it might just stay as a live stream thing for a little while. I don't know. I'm gonna see how it goes. But ju I just fancy playing it a little, and sometimes that's enough. Oof. Okay, it's gonna take a while. Bear with me. Uh, how many hard drives do you have with video content? I just had to order a big external one for my new project. I was surprised how expensive they can get. Uh, regular like HD hard drives, HDD stuff is pretty cheap, but the SSDs can get really expensive. Yeah. So I have. Um, I'll tell you now. Hold on. Let me. Let me just click all of these. I would hate to click off them and miss. I'll tell you what I have. video content but I'll tell you what I have hard drive wise boom by the way I appreciate you actually keeping your playlist up to date on the channel it makes so much easier finding I try I miss the occasional one but I do try because I, I know how annoying it can be when you find a playlist in episode 7 of something's missing or whatever um, yeah so Ooh, let's head over there so I can see it better uh, I currently have um, so I have a I have a two uh, a 240 gig, um, what are they called? The new ones, like the, like the the little strip SSDs that go straight onto the motherboard. I can't remember what the what the terminology for. I forget. It's a 970 Samsung Evo, anyway. The, it's the the little. I can't think what they're called. But if you know if you know about computers, you'll know what I mean, right? I just can't think what they're called now. The little M dot M dot two, that's it. M dot two hard drives. So I've got a two forty gig M dot two hard drive for Windows, basically for Windows, uh, and then and and things like Photoshop and all that. The stuff I use every day and need to be speedy. And then also I'll have like a couple of games installed on there as well. So the Planet games are installed on there, for instance. Again, it's stuff that will really speed up yeah rick there you go m.2 thank you I was, i've been banging my head against the wall for that so i've got that then i've got a uh, a terabyte uh regular ssd uh, sort of you know regular plug and play ssd that's dealing with all the other games i have so um uh so yeah so you know uh, other stuff that's installed on steam uh, that kind of stuff is on a is on a terabyte SSD, and then I've got eight terabytes of regular hard drive in a RAID array that stores video footage. Oh, that SSD acts as like a cache as well for the for the regular hard drive. So whatever I'm working on can work through the cache of an SSD, and then I've got eight gigs of H uh, regular hard drive stuff in a RAID array for storage. And then I've got an, and then I've got an external uh, twenty gig, um, twenty terabyte. So what did I say? Did I say eight gigabyte, eight terabyte before. And then I've got external twenty terabyte currently in a RAID array that everything gets backed up to. So there you go. Franchise mate is neither Nathan. It's the it's the other one we started before we stopped playing Planet Zoo for a while. Uh, and we're just working on a cool little oh copy spot. Oh copy. I love saying it. Oh copy. Okay, that looks good. That's fine. Um, nearly 100k subs. I know I am. We've been nearly 100k subs for about six months now, though, honestly. So uh, I'd be incredibly happy if when if it happens. But uh, yeah, it ain't. Yeah, every time we gain some, we lose some. So. 
Uh, what planet's in the planet coaster series? Do you know any more news about the planet, can the planet coaster? He's going to be blah, blah, blah. Do you know any more news about when planet coaster is going to be on Xbox PlayStation? All we know so far is holiday 2020. So that's kind of late October, November, December time, right? So, uh, Sonia saying, please, please what, Sonia? Concrete pool. We've done many concrete pools. We're going to leave this one natural. But here's a concrete pool. Uh, here's a concrete pool. Yeah, we're, we're going to leave this one a little bit more naturalistic. Uh, does this zoo have a name? It doesn't actually. It's just a zoo. Just a zoo. So rainforest. Then I imagine the flooring they're going to want is lots of like dirt and grass, right? Let's have a look. So soil, yeah. The way too much sand, of course. Grass. Actually, they don't want much grass. That's that's fine. It's mostly soil and a bit of rock. Oh. So we can start doing that. Does you promise to sing when you reach 100k? Still stand? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna do a karaoke stream when we have 100,000 subscribers. Yes, yes. Okay. So first things first. Let's get the bottom of this river. Soily, soiled. Let us let us soil ourselves. There we go. Be cool if Planet Zoo eventually could be on PS4. Well, if they managed it with Planet Coaster, I can't see why Planet Zoo couldn't be. I'm very surprised they managed it with Planet Coaster, honestly. Um, but yeah, just Zoo in London, Ontario. Yeah, just a Zoo. That's it. So let's go for light soil on the outside, just so we can see a bit of a variation, and then we'll start sort of making it look a little nicer. And we'll worry about this in a little bit. Yes, we need lots of soil here. Uh, I don't know whether they want no sand or they can have some sand. So we've kind of... I actually kind of like that little bit of sand that's left on the banks, all right? So I'm not going to worry too much about that. We now have too much soil and not enough short grass. So let's bring down the, the intensity. Start getting some short grass where the where the larger open areas will be. Actually, the larger open areas will probably be closer to the river, wouldn't they? Right, and then the heavier soil is where you would is where we're going to get more of the planting. Right, the grass won't the grass won't grow under the under the plants. See that saying it's all done. It looks a little bit. Uh, same age, I'm just going to take a little bit of colour out. Yeah, I think it'll look okay with some plants and stuff. You should add the rapids foam at the drain. Yes, that's a really good idea, yeah. Would you play that new SpongeBob game? No. No. Sorry. All right, yeah, let's have a look at the effects then, and we'll see about some foam at the walls. It'd be nice to see if we can get the whole thing looking like it's a river. It's really tricky to do that. We did it in Nuna Kanata, but it, 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 ain't, it ain't easy. Never played Planet Zoo or Coaster, just enjoy watching your vids. My boyfriend and I are looking into investing in a better computer together for gaming. Which game do you prefer, out of curiosity, between Zoo and Coaster? I think probably co I got more out of coaster, I guess. Um, but it's a tricky one. There, I think there's, there's something to be said about zoo, like currently being worked on. Um, you know, which I find it quite like. I I wouldn't. I'm not a massive fan of going to a game that is dead. You know. that we've got there waterfall bottom or murky bottom do we have murky water now
Oh no, it, it, it can go murky, right? Animals escaped? Oh, these pair. Look at them. Morons. They haven't escaped, it's just the terrain has changed. It has murky rapids. Oh, right, okay. Is your PC laggy? I mean, the game hangs a little, but like it, the amount of detail I put into them, it's going to. Unfortunately. That's why I play unpaused. And also, it's, it's dealing with the streaming and coding as well. There you go. Habitat cleanliness is a disease risk. Hmm. Is this poop? Get in there and clean up the poop then. Oh dear. That's why I play unpaused. Uh, found Zoo to have more managing and aim for the buildings for than Coaster because you had to keep guests, staff, and animals to make animal gameplay. Yeah. You might need a filter nearby. No, I, I turn all that sort of stuff off. Can't be dealing with actual gameplay in, in my sandbox game. Uh, right, okay. Okay. So now we need to have a look at where they're from as far as the game is concerned. Africa Tropical, that's it. That does not give us much to play with. Continent Africa. Uh, biome. Tropical. It gives us a fair bit, but not much. So here then, where it's going to be less trodden, I think it's kind of important to uh, make this look pretty, pretty heavy set. And I kind of love that just peeking into the water there as well. That's that's pretty awesome. It's pretty much all vines it's given us, isn't it? At least we've got this scambiola to play around with. So I want to keep this pretty uh, heavy, pretty heavy foliage, I think. Hmm. Well, we've got these as well. South American fallen mossy tree. Oh, that doesn't actually count as uh, as green. That's interesting. I was gonna say that doesn't that shouldn't work, should it? Uh, I've had a lot of tycoon games as well up to Sims Three. I haven't played a new game in the last five years. Wow. Well, yeah, I, yeah. I would argue that it's more fun to have a game that, that to play a game while it's being developed. But you know. Ah, see, so these Kapok things are massive, aren't they? Or Kapok, or whatever they're called. These coastal mangroves are cool, though. We can we can definitely use these. These are nice. Um, I was hoping for, a, like, a dead tree option. Because those things are ridiculous. It's mostly vines. I think we're going to have to put some incorrect, incorrect planting in here. If you get rid of the grass housing, you can have the most enclosure, some more colour variations. Not sure you read my Oh, I didn't, Brooke. Sorry, I missed that. But yes, good idea. We've got grass here that we're not using. We'll probably do that. Once the planting's done, I usually have another go over the uh, the thingy. In the unrealistic having tropical plants in a temperate zoo. Uh, to an extent, uh, the thing is, for the most part, this like this isn't uh, this isn't tropical. The game selects some stuff being tropical, but like these tamarind trees will grow in a lot of places. Um, strangler figs. Now, th this kind of thing where you've got this, you know, these vines growing, they wouldn't naturally grow here necessarily, but with a little bit of maintenance, it's it's possible to do. So I try and keep everything like a as realistic as possible. You look here; it's mostly just grasses, and and these grass things will grow anywhere. Um, and again, here a couple of palms, but you can manage palms in the UK. They might need taping up a little bit in the, in the winter, but you know, there's nothing there that wouldn't really grow. And then outside of the habitats, we keep it to you know oaks and 
uh, oaks and pines and sycamores and things like that. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, this here that I'm putting down is just, it, that's just, that could be grass, moss, uh, all sorts of kind of things, you know. Yeah, like 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 Nathan said there, you wouldn't necessarily have like a big snowy outdoor area. It's things like that that are harder to keep on top of than than planting. Most plants are relatively hardy and will do pretty well wherever you put them. Okay, I'm mostly just using these as as the hawthorn kind of bush, you know. As part of the garden, we're not tropical at all, so it's pretty well. Yeah, exactly. Most stuff will have a good go. I, I, I know. Um, I know with palms, a, a lot of places will like bandage them, you know, sort of plastic them up at, uh, in the winter if they're going to get a particularly poor winter. But yeah, for the most part, it's not so much of a worry. Plants are arguably hardier than uh, most of the animals. An animal can survive in this temperate, and the plants it needs certainly can. Quite like this being a little open here as like a little spot to peep in, but maybe something nice to break it up. I mean, not, this isn't going to be glass, to be honest, so. Um, you're gonna build a hotel in this zoo? Uh, not real plan to, no. I wish the, wish the roots would be a little deeper on this one, so you can really get them sticking into the ground. Yeah, that's good. What you want to try and do is really break up the line of sight here, because they do not like being looked at. So I do think these coastal mangroves are gonna come in. Uh, very useful for doing that. So it'd just be nicer if their roots were a little bit more prominent. And they 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 hang over the water as well. That looks good. I like that. Can you build a hotel? You can build anything you like. It might not actually work. <laughs> Uh, I don't think a zoo with this budget would have a total. No, it might have a campsite. My two biggest issues with this game are staff buildings having to be kept away from guests. Yep, animals getting annoyed about wrong plants because animals don't care what type of tree it is. No, I mean I can understand. I kind of understand if they're coming from a this tree would poison them kind of thing. You know. But yeah, it always has happened in zoo games, though, right? You put a plant down, and they've gone. Uh, excuse me, that's I'm from the I'm from the Amazon, and you don't find those trees in the Amazon. Like that's not how animals work. <laughs> so yeah, I, I get that. All right, let's have a look at this. We don't want it. these are really big trees, and I don't want to cover too much up. Maybe there. There we go. We are going to have to put some incorrect trees in here because the 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 trees that are open to me here are not great. Um, these things have a lot of roots coming off them. Like you you kind of think them out like that, right? Yeah, there we go. That's good. Intense. Can you actually see any of those ones? I'm not sure. No. What about those? If we go, oh, that's probably better. So there, and bring them down a little. Got some sticking through the ground, really. They're not really working, are they? Uh, oh, that could do it. There we go. 
Yes, that's better. So a little bit away even. Yeah. sticking out just to kind of show that it's all yeah that's good do, 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 do. gotta go cheers 15 gigabyte more uh wait John, i thought you were done with planet zoo oh well you better not watch then eh things gonna get buzzing and won't be up so here i am morning good morning claire what time is it where you are So we've got these strangler trees and then they're huge and they're no good. That one's probably the only decent size one. That one, I'd say, it's just tall, isn't it? You know, that is just a tall ass tree. Like that will just so really tower over that. It's no good, it's just not realistic. Nope. Uh, I guess it's these flowers. They see, these aren't great either really, are they? See this I don't mind because this can be like they've they've found this. It could even be fake. So I don't mind having something like that in here. With some little scabby alley around the bottom of it. Yeah, use just tropical, but not Africa. I think that's not probably not a bad idea. What does that give us? See, this is this is a little bit more like it. Oh, that's got some great roots. Look at that one. Bye, cheers on you. Uh, I did back in Planet Zoo myself. I had a massive park. I was really happy with. The more I looked at it, the more I hated it. I played since. Yeah, little little bites. I think is the way to go. Little bites. Brazil nuts. They're massive. Corkwood. Hmm. Oh, no. There's the K-Pox. Kapok. Kapok. Strangler, yeah. Tamarind. So everything's really big and bushy. Any moving advice after your recent move? I was supposed to move at the end of the month, but they had to change the date to July 10th. Is it in here for any buy boxes now? Uh, honestly, if you can afford it, pay someone to do it for you. Because I hated it every second and will quite happily pay somebody to do it next time we move it was way too much work and stress especially with a little one I would uh, I would completely go again and pay somebody else to do it I think even getting rid of tropical you know I'm just gonna have some of the wrong plants in here don't get me wrong I'm not gonna start putting down pine trees and stuff but I think we need to find something Says he won't put down pine trees and then click three different pine trees. See that if that was a little less bushy, but it isn't. 
Oh, hi, Nicole. I'm oh, sorry to hear that. Thanks for sticking with it, though. Make sure you can actually get into the new place. Yeah, that was the problem we had. Just sit here all day waiting. Oh, that's... That's terrible. Maybe. Minecraft is far similar to Safari in Animal Kingdom. You never have a guarantee that you'll see because it's the uh, up to the animals whether they make themselves visible or not. Is that the one near me, Minecraft is fine? There's, oh no, African Lion Safari is the one near me. Yeah, I think I think probably these are the these are the ones. I only think we need like one or two more. Hey Johnsy, heard you weren't too excited about Summer in Mara. I just wanted to let you know that it gets more fun. I've played almost every day since the live stream. I love it so far. I'm glad you're enjoying it, Mario. I, I yeah, I just I wasn't a massive fan of that, that that sort of gameplay loop that it has of like, oh, you want one of these? Well, give me one of these, but you can't get one of these, and so you've got one of these, and then you have to go make one of these, and talk to this person about one of these, and this one of these, and then you need one of these, and I just felt like it was just that over and over again. Every time you got something, it was like, oh, but you can't use this, and so you've got so you know, it's like two steps forward, one step back is what I felt like. But yeah. It was, um, it's pretty and it's cute. It's got a lot going for it. Right, I'll be honest with you folks, I'm going to leave it there. I know it's a little earlier than we normally would, but I, I don't feel burnt out necessarily, but I feel like I'm a good stopping point there before I start working on rocks and, and some more ground foliage. But I, I'd say it's not a bad start for coming back to a game I haven't played for five months. <laughs> um, properly, at least. We'll be back tomorrow. Like I say, Animal Crossing again tomorrow. It's the... Um, it's the water, the, the bug catching event. So we're going to be catching some bugs tomorrow. Catching bugs and taking names. Uh, I'm going to go and have a look about these uh, super chats from earlier and see if I can get YouTube to refund them. Um, but yeah, thanks for being here. I appreciate it. If you haven't been here for a while because of Animal Crossing, I appreciate you coming back. Uh, chances are it's going to be Animal Crossing and then Planet Zoo. And then Animal Crossing and Planet Zoo. Maybe a little bit more Planet Zoo than Animal Crossing. We'll see. But yeah, let's see how it goes. Thanks so much for being here. Hope you've enjoyed it. Love you all to bits. Until tomorrow, be good. Super chats and why you need to start using them.